Water-cooled TIG torches. At high amps with a long weld, your traditional air-cooled torch, it will get hot, and it'll get hot to the point where it'll get tough to hold on to. I always said that the most important thing for a consistent weld is comfort, and if your hand feels like it's on fire, it's going to affect the quality of your weld. You have three choices at this point with an air-cooled torch. You can stop and wait for things to cool down, which nobody ever enjoys. You can upgrade to a bigger, bulkier, more uncomfortable torch that could soak a little bit more heat before it melts down in your hand. Or you can get yourself one of these. This is the Eastwood Elite TIG Torch Water Cooler. Simply put, this replaces your air-cooled torch with one that has a water line in it. This helps keep the torch nice and cool in your hand, allowing you to run those high-power, long beads nice and comfortably. Thick wall aluminum, steel plate, you're gonna need to step up to water cooling, and this is a great option to do so. Now, one of the best things about water cooling is since the torch is cooler overall, you could really choke up, and that's a more comfortable position for me to weld in, at least personally, and I really enjoy that as a huge plus when it comes to water cooling. Also, the torches are a little bit more thin, a little bit more maneuverable as well. And that's important for TIG welding at any power. So let's run some comparisons. Let's just see how well this thing works before we go ahead and jump into some of the pros and cons and features and benefits of the TIG cooler. So with a room temperature, traditional air-cooled torch and the TIG 200 ACDC set to the full 200 amps, we ran a nice long T-joint bead in some quarter inch aluminum. Right after running the bead, the torch was anywhere from 290 to 430 degrees Fahrenheit. Pretty hot. Swapping over to water cooling and starting with a room temperature water cooled torch, and also importantly, room temperature water as well, and the same exact 200 amp settings on the same exact machine, same quarter inch aluminum T-joint after it cooled down, and measuring the temperature in the same spots, the torch was anywhere from 160 to 190 degrees Fahrenheit. So this torch cooler will really make a huge difference. You can easily hold on to something that's 190 degrees with a welding glove on, and that is gonna be a huge benefit when it comes to using something like this. So how does this thing work? Well, the lid pops right off after you undo these hold downs here. Inside, you have a needle for the temperature gauge, which is right here on top, and you have a pump with a cold line, and then you have your power going to the pump itself. Also on top, you have a hot line, which is feeding back into the system itself, and you have your fittings up here as well. You have your power switch, and out of the back of that, you get a nice long 13-foot GFCI power cable coming out of it. Pretty simple system, but it does the trick. Now you can weld with this thing sitting right next to you on the bench like we have it right here, but we do offer two ways to mount this. For a more secure alternative, you could pick up this wall mounting bracket, which you see right here. This is gonna be sold separately. Or the cleanest option is the one that we have set up on this cooler right now, the gas bottle mount. This will allow you to attach to your gas bottle itself, like so. And it keeps your welding rig totally portable, which if you ask me, is hugely important. Just so you know, there are two kits available for the TIG cooler. You could buy the parts individually or you could buy the combination, one that includes a WP-18 and there's another that includes a WP-20 and you could save a little bit of money that way. This machine is designed to work with deionized water and the Eastwood TIG water cooler coolant additive. We recommend running that, keeps things clean inside and it'll prevent the coolant from freezing if for instance, you left this in a cold garage during the winter months. You want to work with a 10 to 1 ratio of the water additive. So to fill this, you'll need 150 ounces of deionized water with 15 ounces of additive. Alternatively, you can add plain water with additive or even plain water. And you can even throw in some ice into the reservoir as well. However, just be aware that if you do introduce regular water, you will need to dump out the fluid in the system and dry it out in order to avoid things getting nasty inside. This is gonna be a plug and play machine for most of our Eastwood TIG welders, the 200 DC, the 200 AC DC, and the 200 digital, but this will work just fine with any machine that has the correct connections, a DINs connector, and the correct TIG torch connection is all you need. So in short, the TIG water cooler allows you to go with a longer weld on thicker material, and it makes the torch easier and more comfortable to hold on to at those high temperatures. The only trade-off is a little bit of extra setup and a little bit of extra bulk on the bench or on the cart, depending on how you mount this thing. But if you ask me, that's a great trade-off for the at-home TIG welder looking to take their game to the next level. 
press a button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're giving away a MIG 180 welder at 500,000 subscribers. Also, check out our channel as well. We have tons of great how-to content over there you're definitely going to want to see. As always, thank you so much for watching. I'm JD. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.